In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the index and match functions together in Google Sheets. So when you want to perform a lookup in Google Sheets, there's a couple of good functions that you may already know, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Um, you can combine index and match functions together to make what might be an even better lookup. Um, some people really prefer just nesting these functions together and using that in place of either of those other lookup functions. So I'm gonna explain how to do that today in this video. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna briefly go over the index and match functions individually, and then I'll show you how to combine them. So the index function, um, what this does is it returns um, the value located at basically the index that you specify. So the syntax here is pretty simple. It is um, your reference or your range, and then the row and column um, index number of the data you want returned. So reference is the range of cells that you want to um, return, or that contains the cell that you want to return. Row is the index number of the row that you want returned, and column is the index number of the column that you want returned um, within your reference range. Um, these parameters, row and column, are optional. Um, by default, they'll be set to zero. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to do index, and I'm going to do uh, my range of data here as my reference. And then let's return whatever is in the third row, second column of my data. So in the third row, second column of my range here, there is a nine. So this returns nine. Now if I were to do one, you can see it's gonna return van because in the third row, first column is van. So that's a pretty simple formula to use. Um, the next one I'm gonna go over is the match function. So what the match function does is it returns the relative position of a value in a range that matches a specified value. So the index number, it returned the, um, the value located um, in this location. Uh, match is kind of like the opposite. It's gonna return the location of the value I'm searching. Um, so these, uh, this is the syntax of the match function. The first parameter is search key, um, which is the value that I want to search for. The second parameter is a range. Um, so that's the range of cells that I want to perform the search in. So one important thing to note is that this function only works when it's used on one column or row at a time. It's going to return an NA error if you try to use it on uh, multiple rows or columns. So, and then the third uh, search type parameter is um, it basically tells Google Sheets how you want to search. So there's different ways to search. Um, a one, zero, or negative one are your options here. Um, I'm not really gonna go too much into detail with that. Uh, we wanna use zero for exact match. If you wanna learn more about the different uh, search types, I'm gonna place a link to my blog post in the description of the video where I will kind of cover that in a little bit more detail, but we are gonna only use zero for exact match search type. So to show you how this works, I wanna search for nine in my data and I basically want to return, um, let's say the column number of where nine is within my search range. That's what match is going to do. So to do that, I'm just gonna use this formula match I'm gonna search uh, for the value in D2, which is nine, and I'm going to search it um, in this cell range, and I wanna use an exact match. So it returns two. So why does it return two? Well, in my cell range of B2 through B6, in the second row is nine, so it returns two. Um, if I'm gonna change my rating number to eight, it's going to return three because in the third row of my range, there is my value of eight. So 
index and match are kind of like opposites of each other. One is going to return what is located um, in this position. The other is going to return where this is located in this position. So now that we've covered those, uh, we can go over combining them. So um, what I want to do now is I want to return the rating for van. So I'm going to perform a lookup on van and return whatever exists in the rating column. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use this formula, index. So since I want to return rating, I'm only going to look in um, the column that contains those values, which is B2 through B6. And then I'm going to do a match. So what I want to look up now is van, and I want to know where van is in the column of A2 through A6. And I'm going to put a zero for exact match. And this is going to return nine. So this is a lookup function. Van in the rating column has nine. So this function returns nine. So why does this work? Uh, let's break this down. And first, let's just look at the match function here. So the match function is looking up van in um, A2 through A6. The match function, if we are just to run this, um, let me see, two parentheses. So the match function, you can see, returns a value of two. Because in my data range here, van is located in row two. So then I have my index function. My index function is now basically running, searching this. So it's searching B2 through B6 and returning what is in the second row. Since my match function returned two and my match function is um, nested inside my index function, index is now searching for row two in this range. So that is why this works so well as a lookup function because I'm just putting in um, the columns I want to search in and it will return the value. So that is using index and match together, but you can also search um, and use multiple criteria in your index and match. So if you look at the index function, um, there's three parameters. These two are optional. So in this example, um, we use match here to search in row. You can also nest together another match to search column. And so I will show you how to do this here. So now I have three columns. Um, I have name, month, and I have ratings for each month. So now what I want to do is I want to search for multiple criteria. So I want to return the rating number of this employee for this month. So Georgia in October. So I want to return a rating value of nine. So I'm going to use multiple criteria in my index match by nesting two match functions this time. So I'm going to do index and we are going to look in um, B2 through C6 because I'm returning ratings and I have ratings in both of these columns. And then I'm going to use that with match what do I want to match? The first thing I'm going to match is the name because um, I want to know the location of the name. And then my names are in this range, A2 through A6. And then I'm going to do zero for exact match, comma, and then I'm going to put in my next match function. So next I am searching for month. So comma, where are my months in my data? My months are in B1 through C1. Then I'm gonna do exact match and add two closing parentheses. And you can see that this calculated to a value of nine. So why does this work? Um, let's just break this down into the individual functions and kind of go over them. So, um, this match function 
is searching for October in B1 and C1. October in B1 and C1 is two. So this um, calculates to two because October is in the second column in my range. Now this uh, other match function is looking for E2 in A2 through A6. So where is E2, Georgia, in this range? It is in the third column. So this calculates to three. So my index function now is searching B2 through C6, and then it's this one first, so it's searching three, and then two. So just to calculate that, you can see it returns nine. So it's searching in this range, B2 through B6 here, and then it's gonna return what's in the third row, one, two, three, second column, one, two, so nine. Um, so that is how you use index and match nesting two matches together to search for multiple criteria. Um, I know it seems like kind of a lot to digest at once, but if you just go over um, the examples that I covered in this video a few times, I think you'll kind of have a firm understanding of how this works. And again, if you're still confused, I'm going to place a link to the blog post in the description of this video. Um, you can read through that and just um, try to replicate these examples a few times and then I think you'll have it down. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.